Today we're talking about what exercises are designed for and the purpose of them and why you don't always sound good when you do them. To be totally honest, we make a lot of really weird noises here in the studios here and it's not uncommon to hear some crazy stuff going on all throughout this building all day, any given day. And a lot of people probably wonder what in the world the point of it is because people want to sound like a good singer, not like somebody who's completely crazy. And so it's really important to know that all of these exercises serve a purpose and ultimately you're looking for the most balanced voice you can find. So what you have to do is isolate all the different parts of your voice like a rainbow so that you can bring them all together in a balanced way. You've got to check for the deficiencies that are going on in your voice and all the different exercises that we do basically are testing the different aspects of your voice in terms of how your chords come together and what the coordination is involved of holding that musculature in place without using strain. So, for instance, one of the crazier exercises that we do here um, would probably be something like this. Really loud, not pretty, super obnoxious, and not something that you actually want to ever hear in a record or in a radio, and we totally know that. But what you have to understand is that sometimes traditional training, and I've experienced this myself, I'm sure most of you have, is that traditional training tends to get us focused on how pretty we sound and what our voice is quote unquote supposed to sound like, when ultimately what we're neglecting there is the function. And some of these exercises really deal with the function and the coordination of your chords. And so by making some kind of ugly sound like that, I'm actually finding a coordination that my chords are not used to doing. Don't neglect what you have to do to take the steps to get to the point where you have that seamless voice that you're looking for.